Researchers around the world use an array of instruments to better understand natural and man-made materials that make up the nano world. Let's take a close-up glimpse into the nano world by imaging the surface of a DVD using an atomic force microscope. Hi, my name is Adam Herent. I'm a chemical engineer at the University of Colorado at Boulder. I do surface science and nanotechnology research. Uh, next to me is an atomic force microscope, or AFM. The AFM is pretty small, but that's appropriate because it allows us to see very small things. Uh, the AFM is a scanning probe microscope. That means that it scans a sharpened tip over a surface line by line to give us an image of the peaks and valleys of that surface or a topography of that surface. The tips are very small. They're 10 to 20 nanometers in diameter. They're mounted at the end of a cantilever and the cantilever is mounted to a chip. The chip is large enough so that we can mount it into the microscope. It's actually mounted into this little clamp. And we put that into the microscope. Once the tip is in place, the laser is aligned so that it reflects off the very end of the cantilever. That laser spot that reflects off is detected by a photosensitive detector that can track the movement of the laser spot up and down as the cantilever scans over the sample surface. So once the laser is aligned, we're ready to mount our sample in the AFM. First, I'm gonna take the tip out so it's out of the way. And then I can mount the sample onto this electronically controlled stage that can move the sample with nanometer accuracy. And then we place the AFM into this acoustically shielded chamber and place it on these bungee cords that protect the AFM from vibrations and noise which can be picked up by the cantilever. Now we are ready to see the surface topography of the DVD as scanned by the AFM. As the cantilever gets closer to the surface, eventually it's going to make contact and start to bend. And as the cantilever bends, the laser will move up and it'll tell the computer that it's in contact and it'll tell it how much force is being applied by the cantilever onto the sample. The computer then converts this force information into the height of the surface at each location on the sample. So now that the scanning process is completed, we have a 10 micron by 10 micron image of our DVD surface. Now this isn't a regular image like you'd get from a camera or from an ordinary microscope. What this is is a topographic image. So the bright features are raised up above the dark brownish orange features on the surface which goes by the scale down at the bottom, which says that the bright features are about 150 nanometers above the lower surface. Now, if we want to look at this in more detail, we can switch over to another section of the software, which allows us to actually look at a cross section of that surface. So I can just draw a line across some of these features and we pick up that cross section that allows us to measure accurately what the height of the features is. And it looks like the actual exact height is about 131 nanometers. Or if you want another perspective, we can switch to a 3D view that can help us to get a better understanding of the surface. Imaging structures at the nanoscale level presents unique challenges to scientists and engineers. Researchers in many disciplines use instruments like the atomic force microscope to turn data into images so they can better understand properties of materials in unseen worlds. Oh.